Hi all, welcome to another video of Distort Screens. In this video we are going to explore Backbox Linux 7. Latest release of Ubuntu based distribution focused on security assessment and penetration testing. Backbox Linux 7 desktop looks pretty much similar to XFC desktop environment. Only difference is a customized wallpaper and an application menu icon which is same as Backbox icon. The application menu is a XFC whisker menu and we can see that there are a lot of tools customized for penetration tooling, penetration assessment and security evaluations. There are social engineering tools and other kind of uh, security and hacking tools included by default in this distribution. These tools and applications are part of this distribution. However, in this video we are not going to explore any of these tools. We will be looking this distribution in an end user point of view. For a regular user, how good will be to use Backbox for performing day to day activities. So let's start exploring. First we will open the file manager. As the XFC is default desktop environment, Backbox is including Tonar as default file manager and this distribution is having XFC 4.14 by default and corresponding Tonar file manager. So it is having a good looking icon theme and all. For now we can keep it minimized and continue exploring the distribution. Let's open the terminal emulator and install NeoFetch and HTOP as we usually do when exploring any of the distribution. So it's pretty fast to not so slow comparing to some of the other distribution. HTOP will explore later. We can run NeoFetch now. It's pretty standard, something similar to Ubuntu. Nothing customized for Backbox Linux. Okay, we'll keep it minimized. Now we can explore the default web browser. We don't know which web browser is included in this distribution. So okay, we can see it is Firefox. It takes some time to start Firefox after clicking the launcher from application menu. Okay, it is opened. Now we can navigate to our website opensourcefeed.org. Uh, there is one release announcement for Backbox Linux 7. Okay. Firefox version 76 is included in Backbox by default. It is same as the Ubuntu 20.04 LTS release. Okay, just to demonstrate how it will look like to have multiple windows in Backbox Linux desktop. Uh, just for a demonstration purpose, we can combine multiple windows. And uh, yes, this is it. Then we can try opening application menu. Okay, this is how our tab window switching looks like. It's very well themed, looking good. Okay, we can close everything. Okay, now we'll go to check the video players included. We have Parole Media Player and VLC Media Player. We will explore each one by one. Actually, it's kind of redundant to have two media, two video players included in a distribution by default. We'll open some of our videos. Usually, I use iSage or Sherlock series to check whether video player is working correctly or not. Okay, 
ഓക്കെ വെരി വെൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വർക്കിംഗ് വിത്തൌട്ട് ഇൻസ്റ്റോളിംഗ് എനി അഡീഷണൽ കോഡ് സോ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദാറ്റ് വീഡിയോ പ്ലേ ബാക്ക് ഇസ് സപ്പോർട്ടഡ് ബൈ ഡിഫോൾട്ട് ഇൻ ബാക്ക് ബോക്സ് ലെക്സ് സെവൻ വിത്തൌട്ട് ഇൻസ്റ്റോളിംഗ് എനി അഡീഷണൽ കോഡ് and of course we will see media player there is no need to test whether it support video playback or not because it we will see media player by default support a wide variety of video formats so of course it will be supporting still we will try it once yes it is supporting this working our next option will be image viewer graphics applications so there is gimp and restretto image viewer included so let's try restretto image viewer first it's very common in xfce environments to have this image viewer so we will try opening some of the images and there is one thumbnail view for switching between different images on the left side so we can switch between images by clicking these thumbnails okay now we will go for gimp as in ubuntu 20.04 gimp 2.10 is included in back box 7 it's look pretty much similar to dope photoshop okay so let's try creating a banner image for our video so we'll create a text box and write back box linux 7 inside that. then we'll select the text and central align it we don't have back box font in our hand so we'll be using ubuntu for font for styling then we will change the color to white we will select path from text from the context menu then we'll create a new layer using control shift l shortcut then from the select menu we'll take grow option then give a border size of 6 pixels then we'll fill it with a black color after that we can rearrange the layers to ensure that the text is coming on top of the border background okay it's look good now we'll export it to use in our video okay we can continue exploring back box 7 what else is the by default okay libre office is included hopefully it will be libre office 6.4 latest version of libre office ubuntu 20.04 is also having libre office 6.4 okay we'll create we'll select some of the template and add some title and description for demonstration purpose oops
yes it is libre for office 6.4 point some other minor versions it's time to move on there are usual options in settings menu which we are not going to explore in detail because it is common in most of the XFC systems each bit is included by default this will help to clean all the cache and files when they are accumulated a lot it will help to keep the speed of the system unchanged and to improve the performance here is the settings icon set reveal xfc settings manager there is nothing exciting about it everything is as usual so we'll close it and we will go for desktop settings to see the backgrounds available there are only four backgrounds available by default and two of them are branded with backbox linux text okay Now it is time to evaluate how much memory and CPU it is consuming in an ideal state. It's showing too much of CPU and memory but it's not an exact figure because we have a screen recording application running on the background. Uh, it was actually taking uh, 580 MB of memory with HTOP. I tried it without running any screen recording application top is also showing some less amount uh, it is the difference between different tools for monitoring the resource usage xfc task manager is also showing similar statics and majority of the cpu and memory usage is because of the screen recording application running in the background in a 2gb system it is consuming around 38 percentage of memory yes it's a 2 gb system and backbox linux is running very smoothly in a 2 gb system and there are usual xfc applet for calendar sound battery wi-fi and this is a screen recording application icon Okay, that's all. It's time to leave. So, let's shut down the system. Thank you all for watching.